DSLR cameras, stream decks, and much more are some of the most expensive things that streamers can invest in. DSLR cameras start at about $600 and go all the way up to the thousands. And stuff like stream decks all start at a minimum of about $100. And this is all stuff that can really improve your stream and make it so that more people come to your streams. Now, some people say that gear doesn't matter, but I really think that sometimes gear really does matter. So today I'm coming to you guys with a couple of free alternatives to stuff like stream decks and the main streaming gear. So yeah. Also, as you guys know, I'm coming back to posting every single week. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys drop a follow because I am trying to hit 1k by the end of this year. Also, let me know any ideas you guys have and want me to film and put out for you guys because I might be posting twice a week if I get the ideas. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. So the most important piece of stream gear that everyone uses is a stream deck. A stream deck is basically a macro pad that streamers use to change scenes in their streams, add filters to their cameras, and do some fun stuff like that. It can really make your stream more interactive. Like I have one button that I can click, which changes to another webcam, so I can do my sub dance. By the way, if you guys want to check out my sub dance, I do do it live on stream every time I get a subscription. So make sure to go follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash But yeah, let's get back to the video so as i said before stream decks are pretty important and i have an alternative a lot of people have their old ipads phones or stuff like that laying around and when i had that i said i need to put this to use so there's an app called touch portal this app is basically a stream deck it turns your ipad or phone into a stream deck you basically can use it wirelessly or you can plug it into your pc and then you can add different keys folders and many different things in my opinion i've tried both the stream deck software and this software and this software has like 90% of what the stream deck software has the only difference is sometimes you need the premium version to add more folders now this isn't a problem because i think you start with two to three folders which is enough for one stream folder one home folder and one other folder for whatever else you want so yeah this is definitely really nice and if you want to you can upgrade to the premium version because you could be using this for a while like i used it for about a year until i upgraded to my actual stream deck but yeah they are really not that different and the stream deck is just something you would get when you really have the money up next i'm going to be talking about dslr cameras and how to get one for free basically so many streamers start off with a webcam or no webcam i'm going to be talking about some tips for people with a webcam to turn it into looking like a dslr camera and some tips for people without a webcam to get literally a free dslr looking webcam so first of all what you want to do is if you have a webcam is you want to go on google and you want to search up nvidia broadcast this is basically a software which allows you to put some filters on your camera with this software you can use it and you can put your camera filters like a background blur a green screen now i'm going to show you guys a video up here with me on my c920 putting background blur you can also adjust this to be very high very low and i honestly like it on the low part because it doesn't look that fake but yeah now if you don't have a webcam this is a way to get a free webcam that looks better than most webcams again this means you'll have a spare phone or something laying around or you can use your current phone but basically what you want to do is you want to go on your phone and you want to download the software called epoch cam i know this is in the app store and i'm not sure about the android after you download that you want to get onto your pc and you want to also download it now this is by the same brand as elgato the free version does come with a watermark but it isn't that big of a deal but for seven dollars you can get the upgraded version and it comes with a lot more now with this webcam it already looks insane because you are using your phone and let's say you have a very good iphone or android phone which has portrait you can use that and yeah you can also switch through the different cameras that your phone has like with my phone i can switch through the wide camera the zoom camera and the normal camera because of this you can have different angles for the different parts of your stream you can also use the integrated background blur in it which makes it look like a dslr more or you can use the background blur on video broadcast now a quick thing i didn't mention before nvidia broadcast only works for rtx gpus that means 2060s and over the next thing we're going to talk about is something that can really change up your stream now this is a wireless webcam that you can have with any device and you can add with a browser source now this isn't really an alternative but it is something that is pretty insane if you go on a laptop phone or any device that you have and search up obs.ninja it basically gives you a webcam and a link you're gonna share your camera to add to obs and after that you're gonna have a link on the top of your screen you want to copy that link and add it to your obs or streamlabs obs then you can use it wirelessly and put the camera anywhere you want in your whole room in another country in another universe in another universe or anything like that you can also do this if let's say you want to show a friend on stream in a high quality thing 
you can put him on that and yeah you can put the browser source in your stream now this final alternative is something that is really insane and a lifesaver so many streamers have the elgato key lights the elgato ring lights all of that stuff but you can really just get the same thing for very cheap or free the first way is to get it for free and obviously you can use the sunlight if you want but a better way is to take any lamp that you have around your room or your house like this ikea one right here you want to put it right like directly into your face from one side from the front or something like that but something that doesn't really hurt your eyes or you want to put it against your wall so it deflects the light on you and then you have some free lighting right there or you can go for 40 dollars and pick up the newer key lights these key lights come with dimmable adjustments and they're pretty good for only 40 dollars you come with two different stands and to be honest i am simply thinking of getting them myself i hope this video really helped all those small streamers out there that can't afford all of the different streaming gear that they want but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys have an insane day again make sure to like and subscribe and check out all my socials linked in the description all of these softwares and everything that i mentioned in this video will also be sitting in the description down below so if you guys want to check those out make sure to do that also if you have any questions make sure to comment them down below and let me know which one of these helped you the most so yeah peace out and have a great day